So here is my Gaudi Hack Wilson, 1933, that I'm going to crack out finally and get off the PSA for a crossover. Um, this BBG slab is hideous, but uh, what drew me to the card was the outstanding centering um, in spite of it being in the slab, and I always intended to cross it over, and I fully expect to get a lower grade from PSA than uh, I received here from BVG. I think the rule of thumb is you expect maybe about a one grade uh, deduction, but I don't really care. Um, I mean, I, you know, I'll take the 3.5, hopefully not lower. Um, and of course, a four or 4.5 would be even better, but it looks really nice. Uh, again, the centering is uh, what drew me to this card. And um, here's the back, nice and clean. And so I am going to basically take a screwdriver and a hammer and carefully remove this. I've done this once before with the Ted Williams uh, 1941 play ball. And that was a four, came back a three. And uh, the good thing is it's a smaller card and it is sealed inside of a Mylar sort of uh, sleeve, which you know minimizes the chance I'm going to damage this unlike a full-size card, which fills the entire slab. Um, but anyhow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this off. What did I say? Today's Monday the 9th, so probably should have it back in a couple of weeks based on the service level and through the uh, magic of video editing, editing. I'll be right back with the grade reveal. Okay, so I got the card back from PSA a few days ago. And I made a mistake uh, when I said in the last video, I've done this once before with BBG Slab with um, Ted Williams. I did it also with Lou Gehrig. Um, and this one, it got a little scary. At one point, when I was cracking out the BBG Slab, you know, I was doing this with a screwdriver, kind of like, you know, wedging it in it. I went whoosh, <laughs> deep into the slab, fortunately, over the, the card. Um, so no harm, no foul there. But um, anyway, BBG 4.5, and I expected, um, you know, like a probably a one grade deduction, um, just because that seems to be what happens when you go from BBG to PSA. And it got, well, anyway, let me tell you, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it got a three. So this is a very nice three. And um, to establish value for this three, you don't go by VCP threes because you go there and they all have something wrong with them. And uh, you know, fortunately, there is a legitimate comp for this card, for this grade. While I was waiting for the card to return to me, Greg Morris had an auction for the very same card in a PSA three that looked very similar to this one. Um, if I had those kinds of video editing skills, I'd like overlay like the image of the card in this video. Uh, I don't know how to do stuff like that, but it, it ended like a week ago, so you can go check it out. Um, on VCP, I think the average is like six hundred bucks or five hundred bucks. But the Greg Morris card, which might actually be nicer than this one, went for twelve hundred and thirty-seven dollars in a PSA three. So that's my comp, as far as I'm concerned. Because again, you go look at the, the past auctions, they're always off-centered, there's some major issue with them. And um, I don't know, is, is PSA just grading stricter nowadays? Um, a 3.5 would have been real nice, because then I can do another one of my videos uh, with a whole bunch of different cards doing the grading scale again. But uh, alas, I got the three. So, oh, and also, I got the baggie. Greg Morris didn't. I don't know why they choose to do this for some cards versus others. Um, I mean, the Mylar sleeve is fine. It doesn't really impact the image, but you could tell with the the waves around the uh, the card. But anyway, super nice card. You know, just an old timey look. I mean, this guy looks like the Mucinex booger. You know, I think <laughs> I think I, I mentioned that once before. Um, but yeah, so there's the uh, the results of my BVG to PSA. Uh, Gowdy crossover. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, talk to you later.